Okay, so now we have um, a screen for us to take a look at um, what the newspaper headlines are. We have to start with the Daily Graphic and Tamawavi. Government labor rich deal on tariff hikes. I'm not excited about this. So I'm not, you know, so passionate. The government has agreed to provide relief for lifeline consumers of electricity and the vulnerable with effect from February 1, as it has reached a deal with organized labor over the increases in utility tariffs. When you get the paper, you see uh, what the details are. Uh, you may not like it. Uh, only persons from uh, is 0 to 50 getting uh, some sort of deal. Meningitis claims lips in a shanty vote. Oh, okay. Am I okay this morning? Yeah, you are. Meningitis claims lives in a shanty and vulture regions. The deadly uh, pneumococcal meningitis continues to claim more lives in parts of the country. The latest area to record mortality is the Ashanti region, where the disease has claimed four lives in two weeks. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four CPP presidential full cell messages, and we know that they convened um, a debate on Tuesday evening. Uh, it was broadcast in a number of uh, the news portals, but also some stations as well. And we have a front page of Daily Guide confirmed. NDC organizer busted for cocaine talks about the Ayawaso East constituency organizer of the NDC, Ismaila Ali Horoya, uh, being arrested by the British Border Patrol agents in London for transporting cocaine into that country, the United Kingdom. Wait, wait, hang on. That's the Ayawasu East constituency organizer of the NDC. Yeah. Is that the, the, the same person who's son of a former... Uh, uh, okay, I'll get the designation mm. right. Because I, I, I didn't think that the person was known, but the parents were the oh, known he's the son parties. of a prominent... Yes. Uh, and I'll get it, I'll get it. By the time you finish mm. this, I'll get it. I'll get it, get it. Let's broadcast some. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nana, Nana Dam's false report. He says that presidential candidate of the new Patriotic party, Nana Dedanko Kufuado, has expressed disgust at claims that he killed his first wife, or by young cancer Gramena. We also have EC denies a Yaraga APC, and apparently Electra Commission has come up publicly to say, so far, even uh, from the last quarter of uh, the last year, uh, the commission has not registered any political party at all. And so all the thing about APC and all, uh, just um, mm. rumors in the media. Oh, really? But bomb is something I think it will come to fruition. Because he did indicate, or there were reports after he lost that very bit to become the presidential candidate of the PNT, that he is likely going to break away and form his own party. So were we all reporting without checking with the EC? We went with the angle of him saying, and that was it? You can imagine. Amazing. Media. Some kind of journalism we do Gone today. <laughs> we we'll uh, We have business finances. Brace up for the words. And it says, in spite, Mamavi, of the frustration uh, and public outcry that have greater killer taxes and rising cost of living in Ghana, the International Monetary Fund says Ghanaians must brace up. What did they say, Ghana? They say, Mamavi must brace up. So Mulan, what? I have Mamavi my father, and are there the people ruling us right hardships. now? No, they... It's a projection mm. of how the economy will perform. And so, Charlie, they say if we want mm. to make ends meet, you know that phrase? Yeah. Ends meet. You want to make ends meet. And when you look at the next headline, you kind of agree with them because manufacturing is a sector that's supposed to be booming. We're supposed to put everything that we have there and look at that. And manufacture, manufacturing sector is recording negative growth. And we know that, for example, we're supposed to have a vibrant agricultural sector that will also feed a lot more of the manufacturing firms and think like we're not doing that um, if we talk about the agricultural sector Mama, it's not mm. only about the food that we produce for example if it's uh jutes okay we have to grow it in ghana mm. sugar cane for sugar we have to grow it in ghana yeah if it's a lot more coconut and we have to use the hacks to do a lot more things we have to grow them in ghana if we want cassava starch we have to grow a lot more cassava mm. uh, and so uh, it's it's rather significant that we do you know some years ago we used to be planting a lot more tick trees and things like that we're planting. Uh, I'm not saying we're not doing that. We're just not doing them in the quantities that would ensure that we record significant growth. Yeah. It's not saying nothing is But are people also encouraged, is, you know, to invest in that the sector? The point is, before any investor or entrepreneur tries to invest in any sector, there should be incentive. They need to be in incentivized. Mm. Uh, the tariffs, do they have rebates mm. on 
the imported materials that they were using complementing their manufacturing sector yeah. or the, the firms or, you know, do they have uh, uh, funding uh, available that they can access and pay at a lower interest than the normal market interest that they can also be encouraged to keep investing because we have agreed that over the years or the decades that the agricultural sector uh, could be the largest employer. Mm. And we're talking about varied sectors. You go to Texas, etc. You even go to South Africa or Southern Africa, even Northern Africa in the desert, they have large swath of farms. We never have large swarms of plantations, etc. We never have. It will become a novelty if we have it in Ghana. But the point is, our, our leaders travel to those countries. Um, there's no, have there's, you, have there's, you heard this There's no point, there's no point in these days. For example, no, but seriously, there's no point <laughs> breaking houses these days because you want to put, you want to put up um, a, a road. You have monorail. You can put up pillars. I, I'm, I'm, Charlie, I, your, I'm, your dream. Are you the no, minister of so dreams? You, so, so the thing are you is, the minister of so, dreams? So the thing is, over the heads of people's houses. So you don't have to break anybody's settlement because <laughs> we didn't even plan the settlements anyway. Look, since 1800s, Americans have had tubes. New York, you go to UK. Look, since 1957, I feel you, brother. we haven't, I we feel haven't you. built tubes. I feel and we you. still don't, don't have dreams of building tubes. You can't, I, you can't, you can't come from Tesekwashi and be under a tunnel, uh, and then that's come up our at, new minister, come up at, uh, come, minister designates of dreams. No, come up at the Roland CBD. Walker. Oh, you go to cities in Africa, is there? <laughs> Sometimes you get frustrated. You said, and you know, for us in Ghana, it would only be a dream. Just like the the pastor is calling, and Yan Safoni, we're here. We'll keep calling. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. MyJoinOnline.com. We have a lot more. It's a blow to Kenya's media after editor sack for criticizing Uhuru Kenyatta. Whoa. Yeah. You just have to uh, criticize and, and criticize this well. It's just the content regulation thing. Kindly open up. Let's see uh, oh, a bit of the no. details. Is let's that the share. Thing we'll be crying about? We, we have our own content regulation, <laughs> but the one in Kenya is even tighter. Uh, so, one editorial criticizing Kenya's government was all it took to get seasoned journalist Dennis. Galava unceremoniously sacked from his job. A senior editor at one of Africa's most respected newspapers, The Daily Nation, and a popular commentator on national politics, uh, Galava had written hundreds of editorials during his time. But at the beginning of the year, he wrote an opinion piece that pulled no punches. Addressing the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, he said that the country deserved better leadership from its politicians, lambasting the president's record in office. And this is a quote from the piece. We reject the almost criminal resignation and negligence with which your government has responded to our national crisis this past year, unquote. The Daily Nation, is it a national <laughs> newspaper, like yeah. the Daily Graphic? Uh, well, we have to I check. I think we have to find We it. have to check. If you're working national newspaper, you're being paid by a government being led by the president, <laughs> and they purport to be <laughs> independent press, press freedom. <laughs> Master, it's just like Daily Graphic. Careful, though. No, but I, I think this is coming also because of the, the new regulations yeah, that yes, they, they have. have. Just which, like the way we are crying about. Yeah, yeah but unlike so. ours, theirs has been regulated by the, their communications authority, so like the, the NCA. Thing is, so. The thing is, ours, we're being told that oh, it's been, you never know which government will come one day and be clamping And decide down. to enforce yeah. and use it you against. You never know. That's the whole well, point. That's why people were mm. crying hue and uh, uh, having this hue and cry about mm. uh, how we need to make sure that we have Amazing. The, the articles Amazing. within that very law. Well, that suit has already been filed, so mm. we'll see how that goes. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting story. Okay. Uh, we'll check out other stories at myjoonline.com, but until that is ready, let's go to CTFM online quickly. Okay, it is ready. Uh, we can review other stories quickly. CPC shut down, government cocoa board urged to rescue company from collapse and this brings back beautiful memories i can't believe uh, they've shut down two of their plants because you know i visited uh, the plants was it two years ago yes the, the chocolate factory was such that a beautiful was, um, the experience last Christmas, 2014 but you know yeah. it's also because they, they they are short of bees can, can you imagine? imagine have you seen that oh how do they call it short of bees. this Thing that Nkrumah built that for small storage. small factory. They are short of beans. Uh, How many cocoa beans cash. would they use? It's cash, man. It's cash. Everything is beans. cash. Let's move on. It's cash. Short of beans. They anyway, won't let's tell move you. up. They won't tell you. Fred, let's move up. Mm -hmm. We have gunshot at Bunkrugu 
House is bent. Yeah. And you have these policemen there. I hope they don't get shot. Uh, this was during curfew hours, you can imagine. Curfew hours. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this latest one that happened. Let's go up. Scary. Government beats chess over latest corruption perception index. Mm. Yo. Let's go up. Government reducing public expenditure. Yo. How are we, how, how are we seeing go that? Go up. EC denies <laughs> registering new political parties. Yo. Court throws out Chief Tenzin Minister's case against leaders of African-American community. Yo. And we have other stories there. Okay. Right. So if you're interested in any of these stories, you just have to hit to myjawline.com. Mm. In the meantime, we'll do CTFM quickly. We've got sports coming your way and some of your messages. Meningitis outbreak debt toll rises to 37 now. Uh, revealed 3.6 million bus branding cash meant for railway. Oh, really? So the money that we put into the branding of the buses eh, was actually supposed to be for railway. Really? Wow. 43% of Ghana's urban dwellers only re <laughs> rely on sachet water. AfriWave not pay for international monitoring calls, but this follows a uh, go up calls by um, member of parliament for Boise West, um, uh, Kuku Kwati, who is alleging that there's fraud there because uh, government uh, seems to have contracted alongside another company to do international call monitoring mm. files at the same time they have an existing contract with another company suba so we'll see how that goes we'll also go to the africa page mama via the bbc all right uh, that's the bbc uh, but this is not the african page is it sweden okay. to expel up to eighty thousand mm. uh, migrants authorities in sweden are making plans to expel as many as eighty thousand failed asylum seekers the interior minister is quoted as saying okay Fred, go up a little let's see whether we'll see is it vika or zika zika is here mm. please Can't, click yeah. it fred click don't go back <laughs> okay so it says zika virus this is a story of uh oh let's read the headline at least no you can read the first okay. you can read the it's a, u.s paragraph. scientists have read the world health organization to take urgent action over the zika virus which they say has explosive pandemic potential and fred if you can just google uh, zika virus and let's see how the images are we'll be very much happy and um it's a writing in the u.s medical journal they allege on they called they called on the who to heed lessons from the ebola outbreak and convene an emergency committee of disease experts this is what we're going to do Go can, down. can you imagine you know uh, the quick response to this one can you imagine the speed at which yeah. we're putting we're edging yeah, WHO because, because, committees you know, and things like that. Because happening. this Brazil is not is Africa. closer to North America. Yeah, so this is not Africa. If it gets to North America, the population is you to ravage them by this one, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, go up. So, go up, uh, Roland will keep referring to Fred because Fred Potiphar is our director this morning. Ah, yeah, Fred Potiphar. <laughs> go up, go up, Fred. Fred, last one is in. Go up, Fred. Uh -huh. So, this is how the picture looks like. And you know, the, the heads. You know, yeah. we have Kosro Kobo. That's the disease by hydrocephalus and all that. But this one, their head becomes smaller. Yeah. Their brains are smaller. And so they don't get developed well. Mm -hmm. They're malnourished. So we're told a lot of them will die. Yeah. So this is what the Brazilian government has done. It says for the next two years, couples should not get pregnant. Well, it's an appeal. Well, we are telling you, you can have uh, relations, sexual relations, thing, but try not to have children. I think it's a very good caution too as well. Just make sure, say... You don't go and do anything, we go cause problem for honor, and I, and I think it's in the right direction. And if you can have a lot more time, please, uh, we'll encourage our audience to go and read a lot more about the Zika? It, Zika virus. Mm. Just go to all the notable websites you know and read about the Zika virus. Uh, the thing I didn't like was so oh, emanates from Africa, you know, some. In 19, yeah, yes, yes, in 1940, I, I got some the history lessons were, were recorded in Uganda, yeah, yeah. So, what you yeah. know. Us again. So I, what? It's, it's fascinating. So Everything what? has to come back to Africa. Yeah. So well, what? It's our prayer, really, that we don't, we don't get to experience this because the kind of response that they can give to this, uh, we can't give the same if, if it yeah, enters true. Africa. I so agree with you. Yeah. Okay, we, let's we get on to some of your messages. Uh, Neomococcal meningitis. Mm. Uh, and I can't, I can't imagine that some of the district directors are trying, oh, this is not pneumococcal meningitis. For heaven's sake, you are recording something, which is meningitis. Yeah. Why do you want to discriminate? 
I mean, are we this making political gains out is, of this? I mean, this you're recording cases. That's what's important. Let's deal with it. Yeah. Instead of, you know, try to say this is not. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Some uh, yes, I do have some messages. Uh, in, in Bowuni, Matthew is in Enquanta South, always watching the show. It says, Mama Vian Roland, thanks uh, for the work done. But TUC has done well for making Mahama. Uh, and his people reduce the light levy. I tell you what, me, I'm not excited about this. Uh, I think it's not a good deal. It only favors just a very uh, uh, little percentage of the population. Okay, this one says, uh, Mamavi, I miss you. Okay, where have you been? <laughs> uh, Costa Impaga. Well, I am better now, so thank you very much for checking. Uh, teachers in KJB districts uh, kindly inform the government that we have uh, we have been employed about three years and still we have not been paid. We're dying uh, so he can come to our aid. Uh, KJB in the Volta region, that's where this message came from. Uh, this one says, Mr. Roland, kindly welcome the lady for me. We really miss welcome. her. Welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you thank you. Thank you. Where you were. I said you were indisposed. Mm. Okay. You went, uh, to, you went to eat some tilapia. I gave you some choked. Uh, Problems. Okay, so Pfizer in KGB says, uh, hey, Roland, you're looking splendid this Thank morning. Thank you. Pfizer. Right. Yeah. We'll come back and take more of your messages. I know I say this every morning, but I have changed. <laughs> uh, we have sports coming up next. I'm excited about the Australian Open because my girl is into the finals. Amazing. And we still know that it's a transfer window. A lot more players are moving to and fro across the continent, uh, also within the continent of Europe. And even our parts of the continent yeah. as well. So Benedict also Dankwa will be here to give us a lot more sports. Yeah, he also talked about the Chan. I know we don't talk about it much, but he's got details of all of that. Stay with us. This is the AM Show.